The idea of a flying car has been around for decades and is a common trope in many science fiction stories and depictions of future technology. Many have tried over the years to turn the concept from fantasy to reality. However, this goal has so far remained elusive. One such effort to create a flying car has been the Moeller Sky Car, the invention of engineer Paul Moeller. Moeller began developing his flying car design in the early 1970s, starting with his disco jet design, a disc-shaped vehicle that ultimately wasn't developed beyond the mock-up stage, but evolved into the Moeller M200G. This was intended to be a predecessor to the Sky Car and used eight computer-controlled fans to hover 10 feet above the ground, making it a hovercraft rather than an aircraft. Its dimensions are 3 feet high and 10 feet in diameter. The eight engines power eight enclosed fans, allowing for vertical takeoff and landing. When airborne, it flies in the ground effect, which is a cushion of air that the craft sits on during flight. The eight separate engines allow for redundancy, and flight would still be possible if one engine failed. A survivable hard landing would be possible if two engines failed. The engines can operate on either gasoline, diesel, or ethanol. The computer system monitors attitude, and the craft has only two controls, one for speed and the other for altitude. The system also prevents the craft from flying higher than 10 feet, as FAA regulations consider any craft flying above 10 feet as an aircraft. It was expected to be able to fly over any surface at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. Most people reporting on the M200G are highly skeptical, pointing out that promotional materials from 1997 produced for the Sky Car predicted 10,000 sold by 2002. Mahler has claimed that 200 test flights of the M200G have already taken place. However, the flights relied on ground effect and offer no proof of progress towards the objectives planned for the company's flagship model, the M400 Sky Car. It was predicted that the M200G would be ready for sales by 2008 with 250 produced that year. However, as of 2024, that has not happened. Its estimated cost was to be $100,000. The M400 is the fifth generation of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft designed by Mahler. Like the M200G, lift would be from ducted fans rather than helicopter type rotors making it safer on the ground. It was to be equipped with a computer-controlled flight system and intended to be under computer control in flight, relying on so-called highways in the sky and automated air traffic control. It is claimed that the engines could run on different fuels, such as gasoline, diesel, methanol, and ethanol. However, these engines never entered production. The claimed performance was a maximum altitude of 36,000 feet, a maximum speed of 308 miles per hour, and a range of 805 miles when flying at 131 miles per hour. However, after years of development and $100 million invested, the Sky Car finally made a hovering tethered flight in 2003. The Sky Car was never operated in free flight, and most complaints about the company stem from the ongoing failure to bring the Sky Car to market. Mahler has so far been unable to provide proof supporting the claimed capabilities or performance of the Sky Car. Further demonstration flights have constantly been postponed as deadlines near, such as the one that had been planned for December 31st of 2008 for the FAA certification promised to investors. Some have considered the Sky Car fraud and in fact, Mahler's company was sued by the Securities and Exchange Commission in 2003 over the sale of unregistered stock and the unproven claims about the Sky Car. Mahler ultimately paid $50,000 to settle. In the ensuing years, Mahler and his company ran into further problems. In 2006, Mahler tried to auction the prototype of an earlier iteration of the Sky Car, the M200X, on eBay. The highest bid was $3 million, although the auction was ultimately unsuccessful, as was an earlier attempt to auction the M400 in 2003 on eBay. 
Two further attempts to auction the M400 prototype on eBay in 2017 were also failures. In May of 2009, Mahler filed for personal bankruptcy, although his company, Mahler International, did not file for bankruptcy. However, operations were scaled back. In June of 2011, the company was granted an experimental airworthiness certification of the M400 by the FAA. Test flights were planned for 2011, however, no such test flights took place. In January of 2013, an agreement was signed between the company and a U.S.-China e-business network with the plan to produce sky cars in the U.S. and in China. However, nothing further became of this. In November of 2013, a crowdfunding campaign was started. The goal was $950,000 but the campaign ended in January of 2014 after raising only $29,000. The plan for the campaign was to raise enough funds to develop the Sky Car enough to allow it to be flown without a tether and with a pilot on board. No untethered flights had been carried out up to that point with the M400 prototype. As of 2015, the company was dormant and the company's shares were revoked by the SEC in September of 2019. Over the years, $200 million has been invested in the Skycar project. While intriguing, the concept of a flying car collides with reality when one must consider the technical challenges that would have to be overcome, such as the engine power requirements for such a vehicle to leave the ground and remain airborne, as well as the additional fuel consumption when compared to a ground vehicle. Along with those issues, other problems that would have to be solved would be the design of a suitable control system that an unskilled operator would be capable of using, as well as air traffic control and navigation, and noise pollution if such vehicles were in use in sufficient numbers. The overall safety of flying cars would also have to be taken into consideration, the obvious being the vehicles in flight at low altitude over cities and the danger posed both to passengers and to people and property on the ground in the event of an engine failure. From a licensing and regulatory perspective, flying cars would obviously be classified as aircraft rather than cars and thus be subject to aviation regulations. And owners would be required to be trained and licensed as pilots. The risk of a flying car in the hands of an unscaled operator is just too great. Additionally, the cost of such a vehicle compared to that of an automobile would be prohibitively expensive for most people, meaning that the vehicles would never truly enter wide use. Considering all these issues, while the concept is very appealing, unfortunately, a truly practical and affordable flying car might remain purely science fiction for the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and check out the other videos on the channel. And remember, when the future was cool,